Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finds for November 25th, uh, 2019. Um, not too bad of a weekend. Uh, a few uh, interesting things, found a few good buys. Uh, let me show you what I got. Got my son a uh, sweatshirt for a buck, Kennedy Space Center. And turns out he doesn't want it. So, that'll be going on eBay. A uh, nice... Uh, scarf here Ralph Lauren been selling a lot of uh, Ralph Lauren stuff needs a little cleaning up but uh, only four dollars on that uh, quite the story about Ralph Lauren I saw the documentary on him on uh, TV the other night and very interesting a uh, very wealthy man too uh, my wife got herself a uh, ugly Christmas uh, skirt uh, some mice decorating a tree <laughs> uh, picked up a, a Queen Elizabeth tie um, coronation souvenir 1953 I uh, got that for uh, $2 uh, some Garfield gatherings um, had the uh, went to the uh, estate of a Garfield collector and uh, they were really into Garfield. You'll see uh, several Garfield things uh, today. So it looks like they came out with these bags. I got uh, three of them here. It's uh, 2011, 2009, and 2008, all different uh, parts of the country. Uh, the San Antonio is uh, my favorite one. Remember the Alamode. Alamode. Pretty neat. Uh, they were uh, three bucks a piece on those bags. Uh, not a whole lot of them on eBay either, so uh, I think they might do well. Uh, somebody's putting together a collection. Billy Rose's Aquacade from uh, 1939 World's Fair. Uh, paid ten for that, and that should actually bring between forty and fifty. I uh, don't know what it could possibly bring, but uh, it's a old um, airplane uh, kit, uh, still in, still in the envelope. Uh, that was two bucks. Uh, kind of a weird piece of pottery. Um, well marked. That's why I bought it. Um, dried flour, Pecos Valley kiln. Uh, uh, not worth a whole lot. I looked it up. Uh, probably about 15 bucks. Uh, ashtray from the Imperial Hotel. Uh, made in Denmark. Salt and pepper sets. Uh, from the uh, Rogers Silver Company. That's not sterling. Just plate. Uh, six on the set. Another uh, Appalachian... Uh, what is it? Appalachian Spring... Uh, Christmas ornament um, four bucks on that love the uh, Mr. Potato Head um, pencil case uh, six on that and it's about a $20 piece I think this is for perfume it's got a little uh, felt tip on there uh, well made the uh, lid rolled back here it uh, screws on. I think you put perfume in there. It's a, could be wrong. A uh, little Cinnabar uh, snuff bottle with a little uh, spoon on the end there. Uh, probably just plastic to look like Cinnabar. Garfield wallet, three bucks. Brand new. Love the little. Uh, I guess it's for uh, dog leashes or maybe keychains or something. Made out of cast iron. It's a newer piece, but uh, I liked it. Love the look of this. A uh, fishing creel. Anybody with a log cabin is going to want something like this uh, hanging up on their wall. Uh, that was uh, 15 on that. Garfield mug or Garfield figurine. Two bucks. Ornament. Three bucks. Uh, Mr. Bartender. 
uh, still in the original box with the papers. Um, that was like three bucks on that. Uh, pretty neat. From the 1800s. Uh, London feeding bottle. Three bucks on it. Uh, it was a baby, uh, part of a baby feeding bottle. They had like a rubber uh, thing that went on here. Uh, some doctors actually call these things uh, murder bottles because uh, it contributed to the uh, many babies' deaths because uh, the, uh, the rubber part that went in here was hard to clean. Um, kind of an interesting piece, though. I've never seen one of them before. Uh, wife said this was a good deal. Jersey Moran, four bucks. I like the little uh, cough drops box, uh, free sample. Um, that was uh, two bucks. It's probably a twenty dollar piece right there. A uh, not much jewelry this week. A uh, sterling silver uh, hair comb. Uh, paid twelve on that. Made in Mexico. Nice looking. Whole stack of photographs from uh, Tokyo. Uh, you can see the person must have been in the uh, uh, military. Looks like from the 1950s, uh, from the looks of the cars. Just a bunch of uh, in and around town. Interesting uh, things. Lots of trains. And got a whole box of uh, personal photos. Um, it's interesting that people, uh, sometimes there's just no family, uh, to pass along this stuff too. Um, I've heard that there's people that will copyright, find an interesting photo and copyright it, and then make money off of it, off of other people's photos. Um, but, uh. Just uh, a lot of looking in here, but uh, they were very uh, organized. You can see uh, uh, Janami Valley Forge, uh, Bow of Boat, Jan Fishing Bow of Boat. There's uh, Family Dogs and uh, what is it? Slides of Furnishings. So it's it's a ton of stuff in here, just a whole lot of pictures. So I'm going to go through, uh, they took a trip up through New England and uh, there's pictures of uh, uh, Boston. Um, so I think I'll go through, there's Atlantic City, it's got to be something good in there. Uh, 20 bucks for the entire box. Garfield shower radio with mirror, uh, five dollars on that. A another fishing creel. This one wasn't as good. Um, that was uh, ten on that one. Eight dollars on a set of forks made in France. Uh, love the little uh, desk organizer. They called it Vaseline. I think the more of a correct term would be uh, uranium glass. Uh, it's got that kind of glow to it. Vaseline I always thought of as uh, more yellow like Vaseline. Uh, the pain cushion was a good deal. Uh, got it for eight and marked uh, Florenza. Um, found one on Worth Point. Sold for uh, 90. A uh, little charm bracelet. It's uh, got Time, Life, Sports Illustrated charms. Why anybody would want a charm bracelet with Time, Life, and Sports Illustrated charms, I don't know. But uh, I found some that sold uh, that should bring around 15 20 bucks. That cost eight. A uh, pair of oven mitts. We'll probably keep those for, uh, for the holidays around here. Uh, made by uh, Temptations. Uh, five bucks. Uh, the books were pretty good. Found an old uh, copy of the Torah. Uh, Three dollars. It's about a twenty dollar book. Uh, Hebrew Illuminated Manuscripts, $4. That's only about a $15, $20 book. This one, on the other hand, paid $2 for it. And it's actually going for around $100, $125. Um, really well done inside. So that was a good one. 
Garfield wall clock paid uh, ten dollars for that, and uh, I still I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. I hope it's in uh, good shape. Uh, love the um, photograph here. Uh, paid fifteen for it. It's of a girl. Get my reflection out of the way here. The sunlight this morning's extra intense. If you can make that out or not. It's like a girl looks like she's uh, decorating a piece of porcelain, maybe. Um, signed Clara E. Sippel. Sip, yes, I. Uh, very famous uh, photographer. Um, but trying to get a price on her stuff, um, she. Uh, it's very hard uh, on worth point prices are all over the place um, I don't know I, I think I might go high on it and uh, see what kind of reaction I get and uh, you can always lower the price uh, but uh, it's one of these things I'll probably list and just hang on the wall uh, until it sells a pair of uh, swimming fins love the box uh, these were seven dollars, and uh, they're still in there. If I can get that box open, hold on. There we go. Uh, for a child, and uh, they, yeah. As you can tell, the straps are dry rot, right? but uh, I think you don't see much uh, scuba stuff too much. Uh, somebody's going to like that for the, uh, uh, just sit on a shelf. Uh, last piece to show you, this is a, another Garfield piece. It was a Garfield weekend. Um, it is a whole set, train set. Um, Garfield Christmas train, by the damn very mint. Um, actually a rare set, and to be brand new like this probably looking at around 150 bucks uh, I paid uh, 30 for this uh, so there you go keep an eye on the store terminal 99 which is where most of the stuff will be appearing uh, eventually it's kind of an odd week uh, with Thanksgiving uh, uh, this week here in the US uh, so uh, Hope everybody in the U.S. has a nice Thanksgiving. Until next time, it's Will Yard Sales 5 list. I'll talk again soon.